I am Adewale Adewi, I'm a Nigerian, I'm an industrial chemist. Hello, my name is Abdeslam Badra and I'm a social scientist. Hi, I'm Clarissa Rios, I'm a scientist working in policy making. Hi, I'm Ibrahim Sid Zakari, assistant professor in statistics at Abdul Muni University. I'm Akihil Kishimula, uh, I'm a chemist. Hi, my name is Lisa and I'm a political philosopher. Hi, I'm Robert, I'm a philosopher of social science and a political scientist. Hi, my name is Shima Tahiri and I'm uh, working on developing smart self healing concrete. What does the scholarly community in your field do to make sure that mistakes are discovered and corrected? Well, in my field of research, which is industrial chemistry, uh, what we do basically is to do quality control and um, quality assurance. So when we do quality control and assurance, anytime we discover errors, what we do is to retrace back our steps to correct such errors, most especially when such errors are not enormous. They try again when they make a mistake, hopefully. Yeah, we have to understand that science is not perfect. Nothing in this world is perfect, but science is always trying to be, trying to reach that point where we can be uh, outside of the errors and pitfalls of that research comes from. Research is being made by humans, so we have limitations in with, with our technologies and how we evaluate things. And many dogmas, dogmas in the past of research, uh, researchers have been changed. And that's because we have better technology and better um, criticism that comes from within science. So this science scientific community is doing that, trying to perfect the scientific method. I think that publishing the data as well as the computational codes is a good way for detecting mistakes as well as correcting the corresponding mistakes. I know some examples actually that in that case they shared and opened all the information about that after the careful examination or follow-up researches. We discuss a lot to understand one another's ideas and to see whether they can stand up to scrutiny. So we hold one another accountable as scholars to see who has the best arguments. It can be quite combative sometimes because we really try to test the ideas. But in the end, the hope is that the best ideas will win in this argument and we can jointly come to understand certain problems better, understand what justice means today, what steps need to be taken to improve social justice and to realize our values in society. Because I work both in industry and academia, there are two different pathways on uh, uh, actually tackling uh, uh, the dead ends or uh, the problems. When you are in industry, you always have a meeting between all the parties from the sales and to R&D department, and then uh, people discuss, and then we have like fish bones and. Uh, even like very stupid ideas, we, we just write on the board and then we get some uh, points to each of them and see what is actually the reason behind that problem. But in academia, normally you just talk and then uh, uh, contact your collaborator and see what, what is uh, the suggestion. That's uh, so that two different ways, uh, like industry and academic. I think it really depends on the scientific community in question how they correct their mistakes. Some scientific communities have a very reflective culture and very reflective norms, so they think very carefully about their mistakes, and others are more certain about their results. So I think there's a culture of different disciplines that is important and different.